so here we are having another part of the series as we have promised that we will be doing uh, the solutions okay we will be solving the solutions of uh, ICC English language paper that is paper 1 and last time we had done 2020 the year 2020 and now this time we are taking this ICC 2019 okay so quickly get started so the first question that you know in question number 5 we have to fill this blanks with the tense with the correct tense so let's start it the first one is given to us that is roamed once upon a time in the days when genies and giants roamed the land there lived the answers are also given along with you there lived a farmer named Baba Ayu. He lived with his family in a little village by the name Maidan Subs. Because he had a large family to feed, Baba Ayu saw his days consumed by hard work. Every day he labored. Now you have to just keep in mind that since the first example, the word that is given that is in past tense. So throughout it is going to follow past tense. Uh, there might be few exceptions that we will see. But generally it is going to be past tense. Every day he labored from dawn to sundown, plowing his field and turning the soil and tending to his meager pistachio trees. So as you can see, always just the last line I want to repeat once again. Every day he labored from dawn to sundown. That is what his work used to be. Plowing. Now what work he used to do. So there are, he used to plow his field, turn his soil and tend his meager. So these are the, so whenever we have this conjunction like and, uh, and everybody must be aware it is a coordinating conjunction. Okay. Fanboy is what we understand the acronym. So coordinating conjunction. So whatever you are putting after and the next part also has to be same so plumbing his fill and turning the soil and tending to his meager pistachio trees so let's go to the next one which is basically your phrasal verbs so here the answers we can see the puppy was hiding under or underneath the sofa stop worrying about your future when I stepped into the left uh, stepped into there is a reason for this also because when you are entering you there is a motion involved movement and you are going in the lift and you are stepping towards the lift so you are in the lift you to be inside the list you are stepping towards the lift so it is into the lift i found it had stopped working we had to use the bridge to go across because we are crossing the river so across I have lived in town for 10 years so this is very important whenever there is a duration uh, is given for example I have waited for you for one hour so whenever a fixed duration is given to you uh, whether in terms of hours whether in terms of years you are going to always use for Please switch off. This is very easy. Switch off all lights and fans when you leave the room. Ronnie is married to my cousin. Now to my cousin. And the gift came with a birthday card. So along with the gift, there was a birthday card. So they both came together. Okay. So that's why it is with. And seventh one, Ronnie is married to somebody. Okay. Married to somebody. The C question, join the following sentences to make one complete sentence without using and, but or so. This is important, you know, which you have to think quite a bit and solve. He was very ill. He did not take any medicine. So in this sentence, we can say he ill, it is a contrast sentence. If you are ill, you are supposed to take medicine. But here... He was ill. He did not take any medicine. Whenever there is a contrast, we can use like this. In spite of. Very important. In spite is always followed by of. In spite of being very ill. Comma. He did not take any medicine. Or you can make it. Despite. 
now we know that in spite take off but despite never takes off so despite being despite generally takes being okay or having okay some kind of participle it takes so being we can put so despite being very in comma he did not take any medicine or you can also write with though or although though he was very ill comma he did not take any medicine so whenever there is a contrast we can use this you come back from your holiday we will discuss the problem here the easiest would be if we can add and but we know we cannot add and so let's see here how we can there we have these are two clauses we have to connect we have to combine we have to join this so we can also write once that we will discuss the problem once you come back from your holiday or we can also put when that is subordinating conjunction also once is also subordinating conjunction when you come back from your holiday comma we will discuss the problem or we will discuss the problem after you come back from your holiday in that way also he remained absent on friday it was foolish of him okay so how we can do this that it was foolish of him to remain absent on friday obviously when we are putting infinitive okay infinitive to remain we are writing we cannot write ed so to remain absent on friday fourth one rahul ran all the way to the bus stop he missed the bus again there is a contrast sentence that uh, in spite the second one i'm saying first in spite of so in spite of we have said that in spite followed by of in spite of running all the way to the bus stop comma he rahul missed the bus right or you can write despite but despite if you are writing you cannot write of so you have to put a participle put me despite being running all the way to the bus stop rahul missed the bus although or though although rahul ran all the way to the bus stop he missed the bus let's come the fourth one fourth question we write where is the transformation of sentences beginning ending or you have to use particular word rewrite all these things would be there the first one the old woman said to arun can you help me to cross the street inverted comma double inverted comma comma so it's a typical example of direct speech so let's see how we can make it in direct speech the old woman asked arun now their question is can you help me so the question that means uh, if you can help that person so when there is a question like this can you okay so you can use if or whether so the old man asked arun whether he could because said to see the uh, said that said is in past tense right so the indirect speech also that you are writing it has to be in past tense that's why the old woman asked it is also past tense we have put whether he could help her to cross the street or the old man asked arun if he could help her cross the street so whether or you can put if anyone as soon as the sun rose over the hills the fog disappeared typical example of as soon and no sooner as soon as okay so no so as soon as the sentence is in affirmative and no sooner is in negative okay so how we can do uh, here just see that which tense the sentence is ten, uh, the sentence is in past tense so no sooner did always no sooner is followed by the helping verb first so did okay did or you can also write had so no sooner did the sun rise because you have already put did so it will become rise did the sun rise over the hills than no sooner takes than than the fog disappeared or you can also write like this no sooner had the sun risen because uh we generally see the past participle of rise is rise rose risen so had the sun risen over the hills than the fog disappeared so you can write either did or had but you have to see what how which form of verb you are writing if it is did it should be rise did rise 
If you are writing hat, then you have to be reason. Third, it rained so heavily that they could not go for the picnic. So here again, two, T double O, two. The first sentence that is given in the question is in negative. You have to make it positive. It rained too heavily for them to go for the picnic. So too heavily we are using for them to go for the picnic. If your friends get here before 7 o'clock, we can take them out for dinner. Again, it's a typical example of conditional sentences or if clauses sort of sentences okay so so if a clause or so here we can see they are asking us to use unless in the sentence so how can we do uh, either we can start uh, from the beginning begin with unless we can do that unless your friends get here before seven o'clock comma we cannot take them out for dinner so you are putting condition so if they arrive before seven o'clock then we can take them out so unless they arrive, if they don't, unless means if they don't arrive. So unless they arrive before, we cannot take them. We can put unless in the middle of the sentence also. We cannot take your friends out for dinner unless they arrive, unless they get here before 7 o'clock. Fifth one, the school captain was elected by the students of classes 11 and 12. So there's a, a typical example of active passive. So, because you can notice by the students. So, that is a passive. We have, we have to begin with the students. So, the students of classes 11 and 12 elected the school captain. It is in past tense. Was elected. So, active would be elected. Now, next sixth is an example of comparison of adjectives. So, uh, Greenland is the largest island in the world. You have to use larger. That means you have to make it comparative degree so greenland is larger than any other island in the world that way you can write seventh how cruel shylock was to demand his pound of flesh okay how cruel he was so uh, it is an exclamation mark so it's an exclamatory sentence given uh, we have to begin with it was cruel basically if we see that from exclamatory to we have to make it assertive sentence, okay? So, it was cruel of Shylock to demand his pound of flesh. It was cruel of Shylock. The eighth one, the last one, Arun was asked by his mother to explain the missing buttons on his shirt. You have to use the word explanation. So, you have to remove that to explain Thing and you have to make sense of the entire sentence using explanation. So Arun was asked for an explanation. So we can write like this. Arun was asked for an explanation by his mother about the missing buttons on his shirt. Or we can write like this. Arun was asked by his mother to give an explanation. We are adding, inserting this word to give an to give an explanation for the missing buttons on his shirt. Or there is one more possibility. Arun's mother. So you are making a possessive uh, noun. A possessive uh, you are making it. So Arun's mother asked him to give an explanation for the missing button on his shirt. Okay. So stay tuned. We are going to upload the video of the early uh, previous papers also so this is uh, year 2019 so we are going to put of 2018 so for in your suggestions that anything any more regarding grammar topics what you want to do and subscribe to our channel